Yo what is going on guys, it's Nishan Amation here, welcome back to my channel, so today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to optimize your Windows 10 PC without without any softwares. You guys would definitely get above 60 FPS on every games, I think, uh, not RTX games, but almost like the PvP games, like Minecraft, Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, yeah, that's all, I think, there, there could be more games than that, but... I, I played, I tested only that much. And before starting this video, uh, create a restore point for your safety because this video, sometimes you are, sometimes there could be a problem on your PC after do doing the settings, watching from watching this video. So don't blame it on me. So create a restore point right now. If you don't, if you guys don't know how to create a restore point, I'll teach you guys. Honestly, I feel like a bitch, I cannot die I need answers to my question, open up the door I respect your privacy, I just gotta tell a lot of you Baby, tired of me, somehow you just crowded me So to create a restore point, open up the start menu And then search restore point And click enter and then And you, you guys can configure anything I'm gonna turn everything on because everything is important for me because I have songs on my F drive, games on my uh, game drive, which is D, and C drive is Windows. And you can, you guys can uh, set this, like, I'm gonna set this to 7. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and click create, and then name it whatever you want. I don't know what to name it, so I'm just thinking of a name. <laughs> which is easy, you guys can name it, which is easy, because you guys should remember it. Step 1, setting up a power plan, which means setting up an ultimate power plan which gives you ultimate performance and uses more power. So to set, up, to set it up, go to search and search uh, power plan, edit power plan. And then uh, go to power options. And then go to ultimate performance. And open CMD, I'll give you a code in the description, paste that to get ultimate performance. Like Windows doesn't give you ultimate performance on default. So this code, I'm, I'm gonna give you this code in the description. Click enter, I'm not gonna be clicking enter because I, I already have it. Step 2, disable unwanted startup apps or softwares. Open task manager and then go to startup apps, no, start, startup softwares, apps are for mobile. Okay, so now disable um, the useless apps or software. <laughs> Bruh, I can't say software. <laughs> okay, disable every software except vi virus, I think. Yeah, virus. And then, uh, and if you if you guys see Discord here, don't don't disable Discord because this Discord is useful. Step three: clean up C drive. To clean up C drive, you guys just have to open up your file explorer, and then you guys have to go to go to C drive properties, and then you guys have to go to uh, this cleanup, and then you guys have to select whatever you want. I'm gonna select everything and now I'm gonna click OK and you guys just have to wait until it finishes uh, cleaning everything up I think I have done it once oh that's why it was fast now I'm gonna do it again for system files I'm, so, I'm selecting it, uh, I'm selecting everything again don't know why Now I think it's gonna take a while. No, it took. It, okay, never mind. Never mind, bro. And now I'm gonna click OK and exit out. Step four: Keep Windows updated. To keep Windows updated, open up your Start menu, and then go to and scroll down and go to Update and Security, and then click on Check for updates. I'm not gonna be updating to Windows 10 because Windows 
no, I mean Windows 11 because Windows 11 is not good for me. Uh, it's your, it's up it's up to your choice. And I'm I'm updated. I'm not outdated, so I'm good to go. Step five: delete temporary files. To delete temporary files, you just gotta you guys just gotta open, uh, run. You can search run. You can uh, click Windows plus R, or you guys can uh, just right right click on Start menu and click on Run, and search app percentage dot temp dot per percentage temp percentage, and permanently delete everything. Click Yes. Wait, what? Okay. Click, I'm gonna click property and show you guys it's it's written one one GB one point thirty six GB uh, continue and there are some temporary files which win, which your Windows is using right now so just click on current or something and click yeah uh, what do we call that skip and you're done and then, and and you guys have to do it again uh, for one more thing temp just search temp no percentage and click continue with administrative permissions and now permanently delete everything and this the, doesn't use your system so what do we call the systems space but i'm just gonna delete it and you're done you guys can uh, delete re recent but even that doesn't actually matter because in recent to the you guys won't get yes they won't reason doesn't take file size so i'm not gonna be deleting it but if you guys want you guys can delete it step six visual effects and paging files i'm gonna teach you guys first First, I'm gonna teach you guys how to add, how to set up the visual effects thing. After that, uh, paging files. Open control panel or go to this PC properties, and go to advanced thing, advanced settings, and go to uh, go to go to what? I don't, I, I can't see it, guys. I'm I'm just uh, like I'm doing like podcast. And do it and set it for best performance. And now your windows will just look ugly. Um, do whatever I I do. That's all. Click OK, and go to now. Go to uh, advanced. This is paging files. You you're done with the visual effects. Now paging files. Go to change. now c drive is system managed so now you guys just have to set your random thing i'm gonna set agb so it's 8024 mb set 8024 for everything i'm setting 8024 for everything you guys can set 8024 for i mean like you guys can set anything you guys can do anything I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm not gonna argue you guys, you guys can even skip this step if you guys want. This is useless, but for some PCs it's useful. Click set and click OK, it will change, it will, um, you, you guys have to restart, but don't restart now, click at play, OK, restart later, and you're done. Step 7, the last step. To check for virus, you guys just have to um, search virus and threat protection. I'm gonna. I just want to finish this video right now. That's why I'm just doing such an obvious, uh, obvious, obvious, uh, obvious step. Okay, just uh, click on quick scan, and it will just scan. It will uh, take I, approximately. I think it's just showing you guys. I wanna. Uh, tell you the like aim the like aim is 40 if I get 40 likes in this video I would make a part 2 on uh, Windows Whatever bro, whatever and now it's gonna take time. It's gonna take some time. Okay now it says I don't have virus if you guys have virus You just got you guys just have to 
But try to um, remove the virus or just reset your PC. 